So no workout tonight because my niece is coming early in the morning. This is my third attempt at this song. It's so hard, but it's one of the best songs ever done in my book. Um, it's a song that was done by Lori White. And to me, this song paints a picture in your mind. It's art with words and it's beautiful. To me, everybody should listen to this song, sit down and analyze their own relationship. Now, with that being said, let's start from the top. Down the middle of the page I drew a line At the top I wrote my name, the date, the time. And sitting like a schoolgirl at my desk, I decided it was time to take the test. On the left, I wrote the reasons I should leave. The differences that we had not foreseen By the time I got it all off my chest It looked like we were sure to fail the test I wrote down every fault I wrote down every fight Every hurtful word we ever said in spite To tear our world apart, I did my best It almost broke my heart to take the test should stay with you until I die. I only wrote one word, no more, no less. I knew I was finished with the test. The word I wrote was love and I confess. That's the only way to pass the test. Now, you talk about country music, that's what country music does. It takes you on a musical journey from point A to point Z, and there is no in-between second-guessing anything. And that is the magic of a song. And yeah, the song remembers when and all that. But if you can be the artist who actually takes that song, makes it your own, and then presents it to the world, you are country music. Just saying. That is how I judge my country music. If it can make me feel the emotions, if it can make me on a magical musical journey, it is country music. If it cannot do that, it is not music. It's just ruckus. So with that being said, there's your song. I'll see you again soon. Love all my blonde bombshell believers and everybody. I wanted to say a small note. 
I blocked somebody on Instagram today. That person tried to friend me on Instagram or follow me, if you will. Let's follow on Instagram. And he has caused me a lot of pain. He caused me the greatest pain. Um, he filled my mind with doubt and he filled my mind with illusions that were not true. And I was stupid enough and dumb blonde enough to believe it. And instead of being the listening, kind, com caring, compassionate woman that I am, I jumped to conclusions and lost the best thing that ever happened to me. For that, I will never let him be a friend with me on Facebook or let him be a follower on either Twitter or Instagram. That man cost me everything. And I don't know why he did it. And it's probably best that I don't know why. Because some people are selfish. Some people have no care or concern for anyone but themselves. And I will always regret. Always regret. Not having a second chance with the man who still has my heart. And I am more sorry than words can say. With that being said, good night. Before I shut this off, again, <laughs> I'm not sorry to that man who caused me all this pain. I want to make that clear. I'm sorry to the man that still has my heart, which is not the same man who caused me all this pain. Because the man who has my heart, I accused him. I went guns a-blazing with the information that I took for the God's God's honest gospel from a guy that I didn't even really know. Because all he did was show, send me a few text messages and they were nothing but lies. But I took the bait and I ran with it. I'm sorry. Plain and simple, CB, I'm sorry. And the other person out of Shelbyville, Illinois, is all I'm going to say, can leave me alone. Permanently leave me alone. Thank you.